What's going on? Okay guys, I'm pumped. And I'm pumped because I finished my first full stack application and it's a flashcard app and it's deployed online. And this is the, uh, the uh, URL. I'll link it under the video below. You guys can check it out too. And let me go through it. Yeah, so when I started off, we got some animations happening. Uh, spin the, we spin these up, we play with the opacity. And what this app allows you to do is you add a new project, uh, you can type a project in, you add flashcards, we validate the uh, form, so you can't, you gotta make sure that you have the title, and you also have added cards, and once you add those cards, uh, you can study from them. So these are projects I made, uh, kind of boring names. Here's presidents, so we have the card one, who was the first president? Uh, who was the first president? Abraham Lincoln. Oh, no, I'm wrong. Okay, so yeah, you go through, check them out. Um, I'll show I'll show you guys walking through making a project. Uh, I already made dice, so let's look. Let's do that again. Uh, do. So like I said, if you submit, try to do this. You haven't had any cards. All right, we'll add some cards. Um, I don't know anything about dinosaurs. Uh, marine dinosaurs. Let's go with the X. So we have one. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, Dinosaur. Triceratops. I don't know. Am I wrong? I have no idea how to spell it. Okay. So we have two cards added. That's enough for now. Let's submit our project. And oh, I have two dino. I I made this in the other video. Sorry. So here we can study our project. Meanest dinosaur. What do we put? It's gonna be T-Rex. Awesome. Uh. Yeah, so that's my app. I'm gonna go a little bit into how I made it and like the technology. So over here, we have some animation, CSS animation, which I was excited to use. Uh, it's also mobile responsive. I mean, you, could, you could open it on your phone, but we could use the Chrome Dev Tools. And this kind of repli replicates the phone screen here. Go through them. Uh, yeah, so these are different kinds of phones. Pixel, iPhone X, that's what it's gonna look like. iPad, yeah, so that looks good. Uh, so the mobile responsiveness is good. One thing that, so it's one challenge I had was like deploying this to a server. So uh, when you host a project, um, I used Heroku and they they, they provide the server. Uh, it's a free, free service and I've never done that before. So I had to really, to go in, I actually had to rebuild my whole application and put the front end in, kind of really learned that I need to separate the front and the back end. Um, so the whole React application is inside this client folder. And then we have the back end over here, the browse API, our server files here. And yeah, I included a, uh, a build script for deployment. Um, so when uh, Heroku is reading from it, um, it's going to send a little bit different code that allows it to build the, build the, uh, build the files from their servers. And then I added um, another a little a hook here in the package.json file. Uh, deployment, yeah, some references. So, I mean, I, I kind of look at other people's work to help give me inspiration and get, keep me on the right track with structure. Uh, one guy I use is, um, he was in my boot camp, Chew Train, Alan. Uh, he's got some cool Mern staffs deployed. This other guy I use is Brad Traversy. He has a bunch of, uh, He's got great videos online. He's got Udemy courses and stuff like that. Yeah, so uh, to get this done, I have started doing something new and it's waking up at 4.30 in the morning um, or earlier uh, earlier than I normally do, sometimes 5.30, but I find that if I can get two hours of, of coding work in, it really helps. Uh, it's the best time of day to get stuff done. No, you don't have any text messages or anything. Um, and the time's valuable. I find that like if you wake up at four thirty and at five o'clock like you're working and you're you're not feeling it, like dude, you woke up and you're not sleeping. Like you're up, don't waste the time. Like don't let don't, don't let the time go to waste. It, it makes the time valuable. And like that's awesome. Keeping a positive attitude has helped me a lot. Like just get up, do it every day. I like doing it in the morning because then like I don't worry about working late. I'm like if I, sometimes I work late, I'm like oh no. 
before I start waking up early, I'd, I'd work late and be like, oh, I can't. Uh, it would stress me out to think that I can't code. So I get the first thing done that I want, the most important thing done first in the morning. And it's helped me out. PMA, I think that's like a punk, a punk rock thing, positive mental attitude. So that's my attitude for getting this stuff done. Next project I want to do is I want to implement Redux and I want to imp implement uh, passport authentication uh, for users, like creating users. And yeah, I want to make a forum. So something that people, multiple people can uh, share ideas and stuff like that. And I'm pumped. So stay posted. If you haven't, uh, please subscribe if you enjoy the video, if you want to hear more. And have a good day, everybody.